channel so as you can tell from the title up above I am doing a different kind of video today I'm actually doing a cloth diaper wash routine and I'm about to clean my cloth diaper so I decided I might as well just do this and I'm starting to get on top of my videos well I want to get on top of my videos so I know you guys have been wondering about cloth diapers I know some of you guys might not know what it is or some of you guys want to see more videos um just put down below what kind of videos you guys would want to see on cloth diapers but for today, I'm going to actually show you my wash routine. So we're in the restroom and uh, the first thing that I do is usually if I have diapers that I haven't sprayed off, I try to spray them off um, usually right away but I have six kids and I homeschool now so that's nearly impossible sometimes so I try to do it by the end of the night um, and if I don't get to it, I might just do it the next day. So it takes me two days to wash my diapers. I believe I have like 24 of them and um, I have to wash them every two days. So, and I prefer it that way. I don't think I would want to go more than two days because they are wet and they are soaked with urine and stuff. And for my, for me personally, I don't like them going longer than two days. Like every two days I want to wash them. So. Right now I'm going to show you how I spray them off. Um, this is part of the routine um, when you cloth diaper, not necessarily during your wash routine. Unless you're like me that, like I said, I don't have the time to always spray them off right when they go poop. Um, so I have them all stacked up. Let me just show you. Yeah, so here goes the cloth diapers right here. And these are all dirty diapers that I'm about to spray out. And here goes the contraption that we put together. Me and Tony actually put this together. I got the idea online on YouTube in a video, but she didn't eat, quite use the things that I used. I'm planning to do a video on how I did this just because most of the sprayers you connect to your toilet, which I think this is way better than your toilet one, and messing with your toilet things, like, this is way better. Um, you screw, this thing came with this right here. It's like a... I, I forgot the name of it, but if, when I make the video, you guys will see everything, but this... It's a click and connect. Um, it's supposed to be for a port portable dishwasher. Um, if you use a portable dishwa dishwasher, but I use it for this. When you're not using it, you can still use the sink. Obviously, like you can turn it on and stuff. But I'll make a video on this. I don't want to explain too much. But what I use is a garden hose sprayer and this. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this. You don't need both hands. You can just connect it. You heard the click right there. And you just turn on the water. I use hot water when I spray them off. I don't want to put too much. But here it goes. Look at yeah. Sprays. Obviously, I'm not going to spray it in here. I'm going to spray it in the toilet. I'm not going to show you when I'm spraying them off because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see poop. But I use the flat side on my sprayer. There is The good thing about this is that there's different sides. You could um, control the water how fast you're doing it. Like You could do it slow faster and with that this is what I like about this and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and spray them off so I finished washing them off wash my hands because not gonna lie I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything sometimes you will get the feces on your hands um, but I don't mind because it's my own kids and it's not like it gets smothered in there sometimes I accidentally touch it in an accident when I'm like flipping the cloth diaper over but like I said since it's my old kids poop I don't really mind but uh, when I have to change other kids' diapers, which is rarely, like, it's, it grosses me out. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys are like that. Let me know. But now that I finished washing them off, now let's head to the laundry room. So we're in my laundry room. Don't judge. It's all messed up in here. We're renting this house. I wanted to paint it, but I probably still will. But at the same time, when the house is not yours, you really don't want to do anything to it. And, yeah, so, but, yeah, this is my laundry room. Here's my washer. Here's a dryer. So these are my cloth diapers right here. And I have this, the top loaders, right? Is this what it's called? Depending on your washing machine, it depends on how you're gonna wash them. So I'm gonna do a light wash for, let me just pour them in really quick. This is the first wash.
the soap that I use is actually Foca soap. This is it right here and I actually looked up so many videos on what soap to use. Back in the day when I used to cloth diaper with Ariel, there was like this big thing that you shouldn't use um, detergent that um, that has all these type of stuff in it. But they've researched so much. I'll put it on the links down below if you guys want to see what kind of soap you guys can use. I actually keep it in these containers right here. And for the first um, wash, with it's a light wash, I only put um, half a cup of this I just put it all around and so that's it for the first one so we'll come back when I need to come back for the second wash all right guys so it is done the first wash is done so now we're going to the second wash whereas the second wash is a heavier wash and what I have to do for the second one is that I keep everything the same um and this is only because i have this type of machine um if you guys have the those newer machines i forgot what they're called the, i can't even think right now my mom used to have one when i used to cloth diaper with ariel and i still did it with her but honestly i like these type of washers better on like the newer wa washers like even just for washing clothes for some reason i feel like those new washers don't wash your clothes right i don't know maybe it's just me but okay so now we're doing a heavy wash and I go over here in the normal side and then I put heavy and so there go the diapers and I do a different step on this one just because I don't have a lot a lot of cloth diapers and I'm doing a medium load um, this is not enough for a medium load so when I on that website that I found all this stuff it recommends that you add other clothes in here so this is the stuff that I always add in here with the claw diapers i always add the same stuff and it's just like little blankets or a type of blankets just so that it can agitate way more better than it would have with those down there i feel it doesn't get a clean wash so i'm gonna go ahead and put up all the stuff that i always put in soap and for this time i put way more soap i put a cup and a half of soap this time around and one so that's half a cup okay so that's how much i put right there and let it get filled up and once it starts like moving the machine a little bit i'll show you how it's supposed to look when it's washing to make sure that you've got a good wash going and it's going to clean your diapers really good so here goes the wash right here and this is what I mean that once you put this in here you don't want to have too much water and too little water. You have to have the right amount of water. So you're not supposed to have more than 6 inches of water. Um, it's supposed to be, I go from anywhere from 3 to 4 I believe. 5 and 6 inches is already too much so you might have to add more clothes. But what you do is you go press down until you feel um, resistance and there you go like it's at 3. And you want to check all sides and that one's at four which i don't like i don't see it that much big of a deal that one's at four and yeah so i feel that that's good for me this works out for me so yeah i'm just gonna keep going with the cycle and i'll be back when this is done so they are done and now we're gonna put them in the dryer i really need to clean this off we're gonna go ahead and put them in the dryer once i put it in the dryer i am actually only gonna put it on low and then just put it like on 60 minutes and sometimes it's not enough and it's still wet and i just do it again I'm actually allowed to put them outside and dry in the sun but i haven't been patient this time around for that like i just want to hurry it up hurry up and have them dry right away so i just put them in the dryer but just be aware that you have to put them on low because since the diapers in the inside they have um pul that's what it's called um, it could actually like mess up so just make sure you're always putting it on low i took them out of the dryer and here they are i don't know how good the lighting is the lighting in my room is so bad but they are right here um pretty much what you do is that you put one of these inside of the pocket which is in here you just stick your hand and this is the pol that i was talking about it's like this protective waterproof material okay so here goes some of the diapers inside of their um the inserts inside of the diapers 
I'm not, I still have all these to do, but this guy is getting hungry and I just want to end the video already. Say, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, so if, this is how they are stuffed. They're stuffed and I could just grab them, get ready to go, but not going to lie, sometimes I get lazy. And sometimes I leave them like this um, inside of the box that I put them in and I just grab them as I go and put them in. But when I have time, I do this, which is rarely. But yeah that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and put down below what videos you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video bye say bye <laughs>